going to share with you today my favorites from the month of February. So without further ado, let's just jump into the video. I showed this in my haul video. This is my Complex 15 uh, Daily Face Cream, so it's just a moisturizer. And um, I've been using this, well, since I got it in the beginning of uh, February, and I really, really have been enjoying it. I absolutely love that this absorbs into the skin really quickly, and it doesn't leave like a greasy or shiny finish or like anything. So I use this in the morning. This I love just goes right into the skin really quickly, takes maybe 30 seconds or something like that. Give it 30 seconds and you're good to go. It's been an extremely cold and dry winter here in Canada, like way more than normal. Um, and uh, my hands, I get a little bit dry, my body gets a little bit, or my skin gets a little dry in the winter, but not like this year. So I actually had to buy myself a cream, and this is the Life brand, so I got it at Shoppers, Glycerin Hand Cream. Uh, it says Glycerin hydrates and restores silicone locks and moisture, protecting hands, and cam chamomile soothes dry, irritated skin. This stuff has been working so well, um, I've been putting it on like every single day, and just my hands are like way less dry and like chapped looking and whatnot than um, than they were before I got it. So I've been really enjoying this um, and this is a really nice like um, thick, thick product as well. Um, just, just works well. I like it. I've seen a few reviews on this particular product. This is the Sally Hansen, in Sa Sa Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat. There we go. And it's supposed to be very comparable to the Sachet V, which is the top coat that I've been using for a while now. Um, so I thought that I would try it out because my Sachet V is actually getting really close to that halfway point where it gets really thick and goopy. Um, so I tried this out. Um, I will say I do really like it. I'll probably, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to go to Sachet V or I'm going to use this afterwards. I do really like it. I don't think it dries as quickly um, as a Sachet V, but it is still a very fast drying top coat. If you want to try something else out that's very comparable, um, definitely try this out. This doesn't um, shrink on your nails like the Sachet V does. Um, it just takes a little bit longer to dry, but again, not a, like a huge amount of time. So I have been really enjoying this top coat. I purchased this Healthy Skin Glow Shears Neutrogena Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 30 in it. I purchased this uh, just almost a year ago when I went um, shopping in the States. I've been having a little bit of issues here and there with my skin lately, so I've been trying to avoid using really thick foundations and stuff, so I've been using this, and I've been really enjoying it. It's very sheer, so I usually put on about two coats, um, or two applications of this um, foundation, but um, yeah, I've been really, really enjoying it, and um, I feel like it darkens up or something a little bit throughout the day. Maybe it's oxidizing, I can't speak today, maybe it's oxidizing, I don't know. But um, yeah, I have been really enjoying this and I've been wearing it actually quite a bit. On my lips today, this is the CoverGirl Honeyed Lipstick and this is from their new pastel line. I am not a CoverGirl fan usually of much whatever, but I saw their line of pastel lipsticks and I love them. There's so many really pretty colors, so I thought I would pick this up. Um, I've been surprised. It actually feels pretty moisturizing, not drying on the lips or anything like that. Um, I've been very, very impressed with this lipstick. So kind of a bit of a combo I've been doing on my eyes or just in, in general. Um, kind of colors that I've been wearing on my eyes lately. I've been doing a lot of like more golds and like bronze colors, just warmer colors with lots of shimmer, which is not typically me, but I've been really enjoying it. So I've been using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, and it's funny because both of these items are not for your eyes necessarily, but that's what I've been using them for. Um, so what I like to do is run this all over my lid, um, and then to my highlight, I like to stamp it in the inner corners, and then what I do is I take this Wet n Wild um, bronzer in the shade Goddess, and I've just been using a really fluffy brush, blending that into the crease. Um, I'll even like mix the two of them together. Um, I just really have been enjoying a very um, like, you know, shiny, glowy eye. It's not shiny. Shiny's not really glowy, sparkly, but not really sparkle. Let's just stick with glowy kind of eyes. I've been really enjoying it. Then last but not least, I think it's the last. It's the last thing. My Dior uh, blush. Um, I'm sure you guys probably would know this would come into a video, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, but I got this in the shade Lucky Pink 846, and I showed this in my haul um, video in February as well. It's this 
gorgeous cool tone pink with a slight little bit of shimmer in it. I've been wearing this so much and this color goes with pretty much any single look that I, or every single look that I do. I've been obsessed with this blush. I absolutely love it. It's extremely pigmented. Um, it lasts all day. It doesn't like wear off or anything. Um, just really, really nice good quality high-end product. I really love it. So I'll have to um, maybe down the road pick up another one of these because I do really, really enjoy this blush a lot. That completes my favorites for the month of February. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I would love to know what your favorites have been, if you've tried out any of these products and what your thoughts are. Um, don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I post stuff on there when I buy products, um, my outfits, makeup, all sorts of things, you know, whatever I'm up to and whatnot, so I post on there quite a bit. So I'd love for you guys to come and check me out there. Don't forget to like or subscribe to this video if you did like it. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see, reviews, outfit, anything like that that you would like, please feel free to message me or leave it down below and uh, hopefully I can do that for you. So thanks again so much for watching everyone, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!